Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Eddie's How to Dark, session 21. Um, alright, so once again, gotten some administrative stuff out of the way. Uh, don't really have anyone with quirks that I want to lock in right now, but I'm taking out a few ones that I don't want. Uh, common, I'm getting rid of Warren's Phobe and Turnabut. Uh, I think, I, yeah, I'm getting rid of that Claustrophobia. Um, so, they're, they're being treated. Um, and, uh... Didn't really do any upgrades. Um, heirlooms have kind of stayed where they're at. Uh, sold off some trinkets to bring my gold count up further. And I've decided at this, po decided at this point it's time to just knock out the uh, uh, remaining uh, four uh, apprentice level bosses. So uh, we're going to start with the Swine Prince here. Um, the very rare trinket, it's not really one we're after, uh, but uh, what the heck. Uh, very rare trinkets, even ones we don't want. Uh, can be sold for a tidy for a tidy profit, um, and that's going to get us some nice portraits and crests as ever. Uh, so we're going up against the Swine Prince. The Swine Prince is nice and big. Um, he does a ton of damage, but uh, he still only gets one action per round. To that end, I've put a pseudo uh, marking team. Um, most uh, members of this team can uh, lay down a mark. Uh, and most members of this team can also capitalize on a mark, so we're going to use those marking effects to try and burst down the boss. Um, and, uh... Just, uh... Try and get that taken care of from there. Uh, so just real quick, um... On loadouts, I've given Fitzalan the Bounty Hunter of the Wounding Helmet for bonus damage, and the Agility Talon for bonus speed. Uh, he's in the front rank, so I'm leaving him with Uppercut for a nice, uh... Stun and movement skill, he's going to have Mark for Death, Collect Bounty, of course, and I've also given him Finish Him, uh, so mostly so he can target the third rank, uh, and maybe be able to capitalize on a stun from Mustel, uh, who is going to sport uh, sort of the usual uh, rank 2 Houndmaster loadout. Um, Blackjack, Lick Wounds, Whistle, and Hound's Rush. Third rank, we have Giscard. Um, who, uh, oh yes, and Mostel, of course, has the cudgel weight and a speed buff charm. Uh, Giscard is going to be all damage all the time. I've given her Dismas' head and the Beast Slayer's ring. Um, I've given her a loadout of Throne Dagger, Flashing Daggers, uh, Shadow Fade, and Lunge. Um, uh, Lunge, of course, being very powerful and has a very high chance to crit. Um, and for Montgomery, our back row... Uh, mostly what I've set him up with is Unia's head, uh, to make weird reconstruction more effective. Um, do I just, hang on, yeah. Let's put him in rank three, sorry. Um, she can still use all, just about all of her skills from, uh, uh, from rank four. Uh, put him in rank three, it's just so he can use Sacrificial Stab when we need it. Um, he's, I've given him Unia's head, uh, to make weird reconstruction more effective. I've also given him the Cursed Incense for that nice, uh, bonus to debuff skills, uh, cause we're going to be using Weakening Curse and Vulnerability Hex. Uh, Weakening Curse is actually really good against, um, uh, uh, the Swine King, uh, on account of just how much damage he can do, and if we give him, uh, some minus damage effects, well, that kind of poops on his parade a little bit. Uh, so we're basically all set. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so we're going into the Warrens. Um, and the Warrens usually actually don't need to bring a whole heck of a lot of food. There's a lot of curios that you can get food from. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance and just bring 12 and 8 as opposed to the usual 12 and 12. Um, uh, gonna bring three shovels. Um, anti-venom, do we need anti-venom? I'll take a chance and say no. I am going to bring some bandages, because there are nasty bleed effects. Um, herbs, because herbs are going to find us uh, damage buffs, as well as more food, should we need it. Uh, of course, a couple skeleton keys. Uh, and I'm also going to bring a couple holy waters. And then, the usual complement of torches. Um, of course, we got an extra inventory slot occupied by dog treats. And uh, let's... Let's do this. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, 
The process can fail spectacularly. All right. Nameless abomination. Always like to have the ancestor fill in uh, that loading screen. Uh, wow, that is a heck of a scouting chance we got right out the gate. Um, okay, uh, so I think we're just going to progress westwards. Uh, the swine prince is almost certainly in the upper left or lower left corner. Uh, so I think we're just going to try and uh, avoid as much combat as we can until we get a chance to camp near his room. And, uh, then we'll pick him off. Alright, here we go. So we got a pack. And we got a hallway battle up ahead. Alright, coin and a torch. And let's just make sure we have radiant light going As into this. The light gains purchase, and that's the collector! Lifted, and well, dang. Is made uh, well, we snuck up on the collector, so that's cool. Uh, so we're gonna stun him. Uh, the collector's never g not gonna know what hit him. Um... Right, Throne Dagger cannot hit those, um, the mid ranks. So about the only thing she can do is lunge, and that's okay. That's some good damage right there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and lay Vulnerability Hex into him. And let's start collecting Bounty. Nice. Yeah, he is not going to know what hit him. All right. We're just going to burst him down. Come on. There we go. Uh, probably won't be able to stun him, but it's as good a shot as any. Nope, he resisted that, but this is going to end the fight. Their formation is broken. There we go. Maintain the offensive. See, the collector's not so bad. Uh, if you have the right team, uh, you can steamroll the collector, and it will be hilarious. Uh, ooh. Maybe I'll come back to that, because I'm about to camp. Um, I'd really hate to get that really nice damage buff and then immediately get rid of it with a camp. Hey, we snuck up on these guys again, and they've got a madman there. Uh, so that's going to be priority target number one. Dang it. And of course, he's dodgy as heck. Uh, our odds of dealing. You know, I like those odds enough of just outright killing the swine wretch, so I'm going to take a chance on that. Nice! Alright, no disease for us. Um, let's see if we can vulnerability hex the madman and lower some of that dodge. There we go. Alright, he should be much easier to deal with now. Uh, so let's go for that throne dagger. Nice! Problem solved. Uh, now we're just going to take a couple of hits and we can clean up these slashers. Not bad. Alright. Let's finish this. Nice! Getting some good damage rolls here. Um, why don't you go ahead and patch up... Yeah, there we go. Well, you apply to bleed, but I think you're still gonna fix more, uh, than she'll bleed off. Eh, calm down. You're fine. Nice. Alright. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Creatures um, can be felled. They can be beaten. Probably sell that agility whistle. Okay, what do we got? Scout chance? Nope, no scout chance. Uh, but this is basically where we want to camp, because he's in one of these rooms. Uh, either north or south of us. So let's get to it. Do, 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 do. Feast. Together. Chip away Bridget stress here and there. Vulnerable. Alright, do we have a plan to take down? Nah, he's got this is how we do it. That's all pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and lay down Hound's Watch. Not getting surprised tonight. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to want to do this is how we do it to give our Bounty Hunter an accuracy and crit buff. Um, that's Therapy Dog. Um, do want tracking? Yeah, we can do both of those. So let's go ahead and do Therapy Dog. Reduce some more stress and give everybody a stress resist buff, and then we'll do tracking to further our surprise chance. Alright, so even if we get the wrong room, uh, I don't think. Uh, we're ignoring those. Um, you might think it'd be a good idea to use holy water on occult scrawlings. Uh, don't. It, uh, it's just disgusting. Um, 
So even if we get the wrong room, hopefully we won't go through four fights uh, before we find the Swine Abortion. King. Hey, Waiting heirlooms? I swear, whenever we get that soundbite from the ancestor about a clear. fortune waiting to be spent, it's we never accurate. The strength to follow it. Nope, wrong room. Um, but we surprised them nonetheless, so we'll try to make this as quick as we can. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I think the thing to do is going to be get started on that drummer. Damn, he resisting that bleed. That's hardcore. Uh, Giscard is hopefully going to straight up pick off the swine wretch. Nice. Decimated. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, I should put them back into position. Forgot about that. Um, and Fitzalan will go ahead and use finish him Press to pick off the drummer. Give them no uh, erstwhile, um, who are we afraid of? Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and apply the vulnerability hex to the swine chopper. Get some bonus damage and deal with him as quickly as possible. All right, so that butcher cut didn't hurt as much as I thought it would, but that's a nasty bleed it applies. Hook for just a little bit of damage. Nothing we're too afraid of, though. Um, all right, and we're just gonna we're gonna try and make short work of that swine chopper. So close. Uh, why don't you go ahead, bandage yourself up. And, uh, uh, you can't target the chopper with thrown dagger. Okay, that's okay. Hit the slasher. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. And someone's got to go before them. Um, can you kill him with weakening curse? You can't, but the Houndmaster is still almost certainly going to go before him. Go ahead and, yep, patch up. And there we go. The joys of having a fast party. Um, all right, we're taking the obsidian before we take those. Um, can we do anything with this bone altar? I'm gonna try and use holy water on it. I forget if this does anything. Nope, nothing. Uh, I'm not messing with it. I don't think it's anything good. Okay, well we're pretty sure uh, we know where our target is. Let's get him dealt with. And then hey, let's explore. Could be some other fun stuff. And I don't think we'll be in too bad of a shape. Ah, dang it. Crap. You're bleeding again. Patch yourself up, young lady. Right, we'll use some food to top off people's health. Uh, what do we got? Wealth beyond some more coin. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the fool hardy alike. Sure our light is radiant. Good, no more fights, and here we go. That swine king's gonna be in here. There he is! Swine Prince, rather, this is a Prince's level. Okay, we know who's, who his first target's gonna be. Alright, um, so first things first. Let's get a mark set up here. There we go. Um, and let's get this party started. We're just gonna, it's, we're just gonna burst him down. No quarter. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and have you apply Weakening Curse. Debuff his damage a bit. Nice. Uh, that could have been much worse. Yeah, this guy in the back uh, will keep marking us. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this fight, you might be tempted to hit the guy in the back that keeps marking your party members. Uh, don't do it. You will get smashed. Uh, the Swine Prince gets very angry when you target Wilbur, and he just deals so much damage when that happens. Uh, so, uh, yeah, don't do it. Uh, okay. Nice. Um, okay. Now it's time for Doggy Tree to clock. And, uh, what are... We do stand a pretty good chance of stunning him, but let's capitalize on that mark. That was pretty good there. Um, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Bringing him down little by little. Let's go ahead and apply some more Weakening Curse. Stack that minus damage. Obliterate masses, come on. Not bad at all. We should be able to recover from this pretty handily. Yeah, that little marking flag does do a bit of damage. Alright, come on. Kind of open for some big crits here. Don't seem to be making them happen. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's go for a lunge. I'm hoping between the lunge and the last collect bounty, we'll be able to bring him down. Eh, not quite what I was hoping for. Not the best damage roll. 
Uh, come on. Let's get a crit or something. So close. Uh, can we finish him? Eh, we can't. Well, let's just keep those damage debuffs stacked, uh... Oh! Oh, right! He was bleeding! I forgot about that, and that finished him off. Awesome. Alright, so now... Yeah. Now we just get that blanket stun from Wilbur and little chips of damage here and there. Uh, if you have folks who are on death door, Wilbur stands a very good chance of finishing them off. Uh, he's also extremely fast, but we're starting to get stun resist. There we go. Now we can pick this sucker off. <sighs> Assuming we hit. Alright, come on, doggy treat, let's make this happen. Yes, we're almost there. Uh, you know what, let's just vul vulnerability hex him and... No more dodging for you. On. Now he'll die at the start of his next turn anyhow. Oh, okay. You shadow fade him. Nice, okay. Well, that's gonna be it. And there we have it. Uh, Swine Prince, that uh, was actually not quite as uh, handy as I hoped it would be. Uh, of a victory, or as quick of a victory, but what the, the heck. Is struck. A blazing star um, is so let's go Splorin. We're still in pretty good shape. Nobody's really got any stress of note. Uh, we got, looks like we got a few rooms that are worth some exploration. Uh, oh, there's a hunger check. Okay, right. All right, let's get everybody situated. Do -do -do -do. I know this room's empty. Hopefully there aren't any nasty traps. Okay, yeah, now we can talk. Barrels of Grog. Um, sure, let's put this one on the Bounty Hunter. Let's make that damage buff for him. Okay, and that's going to get put to use in real short order. Okay, um... Yeah, let's get started on one of these guys. Nice. Bleed, 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 bleed. Yes. Okay, so that's one dealt with. Uh, Giscard ought to be able to take out another one. Nice, and she does. No disease for us. Um, let's go ahead and have him... There we go. Nice. We've been getting some lucky rolls on uh, Montgomery's heels. Uh, Fitzalan should be able to take one of these guys out. Nice. That was even a min damage roll, I think. Can't ask for a better opening round than that. Ouch. Uh, except maybe just not take so much damage. Alright, come on. So close. Alright, let's finish him off. Nice. Okay, we got some coin. Uh, I think that coin's going to be more valuable than the survival guide, so I'll just drop that. I uh, wasn't really going to keep the survival guide and use it. I was just going to sell it. Onward, we got a room here with a curio. Ooh, nice, okay. I think we have holy water with us, too. We can get rid of some negative quirks on that. Uh, right, apprentice spiders, decently leveled party. We're just gonna take them out. Um, I'm willing to bet, yeah, flashing daggers might be good here, because we stand a very good chance of taking both of these guys out. Nice. Telling you, man, stack damage on a, uh, a grave robber, and they will... Uh, they will be so worth your time. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Nice, more heirlooms. Uh, okay. Scott, Unquiet Mind, Flagellant. Got anything, Giscard? Mercurial. Flagellant might be the one we want to get rid of. There we go. Especially since that one was, I think, uh, a locked-in negative quirk. Not really seeing any... Oh, no hunger checks. Darn. If we run out of food, that's going to cut our further exploration short. Um, nice, another barrel of grog. Who are we going to put this one on? Um, let's put it on Mustel. Damage 
buff. Nice. Uh, right. Well, well, we have any number of characters who are good at disarming traps. Um, let's go ahead and have Mustel do it. Got rid of that little bit of stress he has. Alright, we got a nice room battle coming up. Let's see what it's got to offer us. Cool. Alright, let's do this. Um, that damage buff. Uh, okay, yeah, let's take out... Let's see if we can take out the swine wretch. Darn. Uh, we're gonna need to leverage some more hits on that guy back there in order to finish him off. Um... Getting curse. Yeah, that'll do two damage, and then he'll die from bleed, so that'll do the trick. Nice. Thank you, Occultist. Um, okay. I do flashing daggers. That probably won't kill either of those guys, so let's just go straight with a thrown dagger towards the swine drummer. It was a good shot. Ouch. Yeah, we're gonna want to get rid of that bleed, maybe have the Houndmaster patch himself up. Ouch, that was a tough hook there. Okay. Let's finish off let's finish off the drummer. Obliterated. We don't need any more stress on this party. Um, okay. Look at our odds. You know what? Let's I know let's just have her front. Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, good. Um so I think what'll be better. So we can now now that he's dealt with, we can just stun this guy. Sure you can. Um uh, why don't you patch yourself up there? Uh, I'm gonna have, yeah, what I'm gonna have Mustel do use the last of our bandages. Uh, lick wounds, patch himself up. Good, good, good. Alright, now we can finish this guy off. Yep. And... Yeah, we can do some more healing. Uh, there we go. We've been getting really good rolls on Weird Reconstruction. Ball and chain. That'll stun him. Deal a little bit of damage. Nothing huge. Uh, but... Yeah, we're just gonna end that. Ooh, nice. Okay. Good, good stuff. Alright, let's re the reposition these folks. It's down that way. Eh, no secret rooms, but we got one last curio to check out, so let's see if we can get there before uh, we run out of food. Sack is empty. Trap is disarmed. Okay. Just check out that last room battle, and then, then we can call it a day. So I don't think we'll get two hunger checks in one hallway. And there's the last of our food, so yeah, this would definitely be the last room we deal with. Alright, let's go ahead and use up all that, and uh, away we go. Oh, right. I feel silly. We already explored this room. Uh, that was foolish of me. Oh well. Well, that's that then. Hooray! We did it. Uh, okay, we still got some good treasure. We picked off a boss. Uh, the tambourine's gonna be worth a good chunk of change. Uh, we got some portraits, we got some crests, even got a couple deeds. Oh, Fitzalan's diseased. What disease did he pick up? Uh, apparently he's, uh... After adventuring in the Warrens, Fitzalan is very concerned about his weight, and he is now bulimic. So that's new. Um, Stell is now fascinated with corpses. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. And Montgomery is curious. That's gonna need to get fixed in real short order. <laughs> Oof. Curiosity, interest, and obsession. Mile markers on my road to damnation. Okay. Um, fortunately, those are all solvable problems. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, have a good one, folks. Uh, we'll pick off some more bosses next time.